Hey guys, welcome back to another Star Wars Black Series figure review. We've got Kane and Jarrus. Um, just picked this up last night from my local Kmart. Um, they get all of them. Kmart's are just getting all these figures in here, which is awesome. Um, slow far, of haven't been able to find Ahsoka and Luke, but you know, chances are they're going to show up anytime soon. So here's number nineteen from the third sort of third phase of the Black Series line. Um, cool, we'll just look at the back there. You can pause that and just have a quick read, if you like. Cool artwork on the front. And yeah, let's crack this figure open and uh, let's, have a, let's have a good close look at this thing. All right, now here is the figure, Kanan Jarrus himself. This one is very impressive. I really, really like this figure. Straight out of the box, I was just like, wow, they've, Hasbro's nailed this one, just capturing that, the, the way they've converted it from an animated style to a realistic looking person is just really, really good. I'm super impressed. Um, we'll go through the figure a little bit more shortly. We'll have a look at his accessories really quickly. Out of the way. We've got the DL18 blaster here, which is sort of the gunslinger weapon. This is the same one that Luke force grabs in Return of the Jedi just before he falls down the Rancor pit. He uh, uses the force to grab this from one of the uh, one of the gangsters' um, holsters and threatens to shoot Jawa. But uh, yeah, the trap door opens too quick, so it's the same one. There's a nice little um, grey wash on it, which looks not a wash, but um, you know, just that sort of wear and tear look looks good, better than a solid colour, and that fits really nicely in his uh, holster there, which is great. Really nice. Now, I think that really impressed me is his lightsaber. Now, for those that watch Rebels, know all about his lightsaber and how it comes apart into two different pieces. Well, Hasbro have nailed that. Um, firstly, it's a cool looking lightsaber hilt. I really like Kanan's lightsaber. I think it looks really, really cool. Um, I just like the big sort of the emitter and the shroud around the top there. Looks really, really cool. As normal, we can pop the blade out. Get a good look at that. You can see on the sides there, there's a couple of pegs, and that's because Hasbro is <laughs> very fiddly. I've made it so you can actually separate this and peg it to the figure. So you see on the back of his belt there, you slot that in there. And on the side there, if you get that the right way, that will slot in there just nicely. So that was that was sort of Kanan's method in trying to hide the fact that he was carrying a lightsaber. Um, and it, nothing, neither of them would work unless they were constructed, like, joined together. So I thought that was really cool. And, uh, before I forget, I'm going to post a couple of photos of this guy will posed up at the end. So just hang around to the end and I'll put together a little slideshow of a few, few shots of this guy will posed up. Because he is really impressive. I'm going to try and do that with future videos, just add some photos at the end. Ooh, look at the head sculpt, the way they've made this a realistic looking Kanan. You think, I think he looks really, really good. Like the goatee looks good in the hair. Sort of light shading on top of it. Pulled back to the ponytail. I think it looks really good. So sort of really like the uh, sort of green, metallic y look to the. Uh, I'm guessing it's. Um, old clone armor that he's pieced together for this outfit or um, Senate Guard outfit, I only think that because the shoulder bell is a lot bigger and he's just used a few parts of a few different pieces of armor to piece this together I 
can't remember exactly what that symbol represents, so I'll have to have a look. And see if I can find something. I feel like I know, I feel like I've read something about it before, but it looks similar to Death Watch, but it's definitely not Death Watch. Just the colours and the paintwork's really impressive. And I just like the greens and the yellows. Real sort of uh, natural, earthy, you know, green life. You know, I don't know. Just those tones, it's really, really nice. We haven't seen a lot of that, in, especially in Jedi characters. I really like the uh, detail on the uh, pants. I think that looks really good. And the shirt for that matter, the, just that sort of sculpting and detail looks really, really good. The belt's cool. Again, if uh, the straps molded into the leg as opposed to being a part of the holster, but that's cool. The fact that that's separate there is nice. A little bit of movement there. And then his boots, which are equally as cool. I really like the uh, lighter padding at the front there, it looks good. So there's fingerless gloves, which look cool as well. That one's got an armor plate on it. Let me just see if I can uh, reach the Rebels version of Kanan. Give me two seconds. And I've just dropped something. So you can just see the similarities, but uh, yeah, they've done a they've done an absolutely knockout job. It's been, it's really really good. I'm really impressed. And the way they've converted that style to the realistic style. Articulation, he's got the ball jointed head, or ball hinged neck, ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged elbows, ball hinged wrists. He's got the uh, torso joint there. Not a lot of movement back and forth, but plenty around the side, which is good. He's got the ball jointed hips, swivel thighs, double jointed knees, and the ball hinged ankles with that awesome rocker joint. And both the uh, wrists go in and out and round and round. So that's awesome articulation for Kanan. So uh, that just about does it for the review, guys. Um, stick around for another minute or two. Not even that. <laughs> um, and I'll stick some photos up. So until my next review, guys, hope you've enjoyed this one. Leave any thoughts and comments below. What do you think? Um, yeah, until next time, guys, may the force be with you.